I'm an idiot. I should not have bought this watch. I thought it was a chronograph. It looked like a chronograph. It's not. It's just an automatic watch. I'm an idiot. So look at this watch. Pushers. Subdials. It screams chronograph. It's got some really nice finishing. The crown and the pushers are like mirrors. The bracelet is a real five link bracelet. It's really solid. The milled clasp is beautifully done. It has a diver's extension that's also milled. Look at this. Very, very high quality, and this cost me 65 bucks on AliExpress on a sale. However, look at it closely. There are two seconds hands, and they're moving at exactly the same time. The subdials, the one on the left, that's for the day of the week. The one on the right is the date. That's what the pushers activate, not the seconds hands. So that tachymeter scale, and I say tachymeter because tachymeter sounds funny, is useless. The pushers, which on any other chronograph would start and stop a seconds hand, don't. The lower one works the date. The upper one works the day of the week. Odd. Now, as far as quality goes, you've seen that this is a very high quality watch. Nice brushing on the sides. And I think that the bracelet and the case are 904 stainless. Now, for $65, it's great, but it's not a chronograph. Everything about it screams chronograph, but it isn't. It's just odd. Diver's extension, only 30 meters of water resistance. Chronograph pushers that don't work. Two seconds hands moving together. That's just bizarre. Why would you do that? This sounds like a parts bin watch. Someone walked by and went, oh, let's put that in, let's put that in, let's put that in, let's put that in, let's put that in. And they wound up with this Frankenstein watch. Now, if you want a nice, solid, well-built automatic watch for $65, $70, this is it. Go to AliExpress and get one. But don't be suckered in. Don't think it's a chronograph, even though everything about it screams chronograph. Now, if I had done my research properly, if I had watched the reviews carefully, if I had actually read what the watch was about, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I'm not that much of a Tintin fan. That's what the red and white checkerboard thing is. So I was an idiot, so you don't have to be.